Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, rectangle uh, ABCD along with these uh, two diagonals uh, AC and this diagonal uh, BD as you can see in this given diagram such that uh, the diagonal uh, AC is being represented by 5x uh, plus 8 whereas uh, this diagonal uh, BD is uh, 7x minus 6. And moreover, uh, the side length uh, CD of this uh, rectangle uh, is uh, 6x minus 5. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, rectangle uh, ABCD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step since we are interested in calculating uh, the area of this rectangle uh, ABCD. And now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula. Area is always equal to length uh, times the width. And in our case, uh, this side of the rectangle uh, is the length uh, of this uh, rectangle, whereas uh, this side uh, is uh, the width. So therefore, now our task is uh, to calculate uh, this uh, length uh, and the width uh, as well for this uh, rectangle. Before we proceed any further, we are going to solve for uh, x before we could calculate the area of this uh, rectangle. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, blue diagonal uh, AC is being represented by 5x plus 8, whereas uh, this uh, red uh, diagonal uh, BD is being represented by 7x minus 6. And since uh, both of these uh, diagonals uh, are the very same rectangle, so therefore we can see that the diagonal uh, AC length uh, has got to be equal to the diagonal uh, BD length. And now we can see that our uh, diagonal uh, BD is 7x uh, minus 6. So therefore I can write down 7x uh, minus 6 uh, is going to be equal to other diagonal uh, 5x uh, plus 8. So I can write 5x uh, plus 8 over here. And now I am going to move uh, this uh, negative 6 uh, on the right hand side. And at the very same time I am going to move this uh, 5x in the opposite direction. So therefore we could write uh, 7x uh, minus uh, 5x uh, is going to be equal to 8 uh, plus 6. Let's combine these uh, like terms on the left hand side. That is going to give us uh, 2x uh, is going to be equal to 8 plus 6 is going to give us uh, 14. Let's divide both sides uh, by 2 to isolate uh, x. And here we can see this 2 and 2 is gone. So therefore uh, our x value turns out to be positive uh, 7. So thus our x value turns out to be positive 7. And now we are going to substitute uh, this uh, x value over here for this uh, diagonal. Our x value is 7. So 7 times uh, 7 minus 6. 7 times 7 is 49. Minus 6 is going to give us uh, 43 units. So therefore uh, our diagonal uh, BD turns out to be 43 units. And likewise, we are going to substitute uh, x value over here as well. So that's going to give us 5 times uh, 7 plus 8. 5 times 7 is 35 plus 8 uh, is going to give us uh, 43 units uh, as well. So the diagonal uh, AC length turns out to be 43 units as well. And finally, we are going to substitute x uh, value over here as well. So that's going to give us 6 times uh, 7 minus uh, 5. 6 times uh, 7 is 42 minus uh, 5 is going to give us uh, 37 units. So thus our uh, side uh, CD turns out to be 37 units. And we can see that this uh, CD is the length uh, of this uh, rectangle. And now our task is uh, to calculate uh, this side uh, AD 
which is uh, the width uh, of this uh, rectangle and I'm going to label uh, this side uh, as y and now we are going to solve for y as well and now we are going to focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ADC and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem uh, to solve for uh, y and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case uh, our hypotenuse is uh, 43 whereas our two other legs are uh, 37 and y let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula so we got uh, y square plus uh, 37 square equals to 43 square let's simplify furthermore so that is going to give us y square and the 37 square is 1369 is going to be equal to 43 square is 1849 and now we are going to subtract 1369 from both sides and here we can see they are gone so therefore y square turns out to be equal to 480 on the right hand side and now I'm going to undo the square by taking the square root on both uh, sides so therefore we can see that this square and square root undo each other so therefore uh, our uh, y value is going to be equal to if we take care of the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 4 times the square root of uh, 30 so thus our this uh, y value turns out to be 4 times the square root of 30 units so thus we can see our width uh, ad of this rectangle uh, turns out to be 4 times the square root of 30 and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this rectangle uh, abcd and now let's recall the area of rectangle formula once again area is always equal to length uh, times the width and in our case uh, the length of this rectangle is 37 whereas the width uh, is 4 times square root of 30 so therefore uh, the rectangle area is going to be 37 times uh, the width is 4 times uh, square root of uh, 30 let's multiply the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 148 uh, times the uh, square root of 30 square uh, units the area of the rectangle so thus the area of this uh, rectangle ABCD turns out to be 148 times uh, square root of 30 square units and that is going to be approximately equal to 810.63 square units as well and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye